Why is it that despite so much talk on cyber war, cyber attacks, especially in the last few years, that you are finding that such few countries are building either cyber commands or serious capabilities for it? In simple terms, we see a split in two camps. On the one camp, we have the United States and also now the UK with their more recently established national cyber force. The other camp is China, Russia, Iran, North Korea and others operating in this space. As you mentioned, the US and China are probably the most sophisticated actors in cyber offense, cyber defense. But what can other governments here do? Max is a senior researcher at the Center for Security Studies at ETH Zurich, co-director of Virtual Roots, the European Cyber Conflict Research Initiative. In 2022, Max wrote uh, No Shortcuts, why states struggle to develop a military cyber force. And now most recently, author of Ransom War, how cybercrime became a threat to national security. Former CIA person, I hope you wrote a book, Scott Henderson, about China. And he talks about the early hacker community that was extremely decentralized and Chinese government was still figuring out how to reel those people back in. We see them sort of tripping over each other in the same networks. Now today we see a landscape that is increasingly maturing. And so other than the US, China, Russia, North Korea, Iran, Israel, what other countries would you consider as layers on that landscape. Cyber criminals and specifically ransomware actors were really becoming on par with nation states when it comes to threat to society and specific organizations. The second actor that I think deserves particular attention is a group called Predatory Sparrow that has not been attributed to a nation, but so significant because it has done these incredible operations against the Iranian government. Now, when we look at these groups, they've really developed a careful playbook on how they go about their operations. If you see these groups thinking carefully about what decisions should I make? We've seen, particularly from 2021, ransomware groups going after ever bigger targets. We've seen them taking actions against colonial pipeline in the US, disrupting the oil and gas infrastructure where Biden had to step in. So what happens is that governments have to make decisions, which groups to go after. When I say, let's try and focus on the top five. If we can disrupt the top five, we might take 80% of the market. As you are disrupting the big one, it tends to split up into That's smaller great. units. So the army, the paramilitary forces are very used to thinking of terrorist groups, right? You kill one or you disrupt one rather, and then the same members might actually disband but show up in a different one. As you were talking about the ransomware groups, that's where my mind was going.